Now let's see how far we can get with Spark AR's built-in makeup block. In the library, you can just search makeup and grab this block here. And it's as easy as dragging this directly into the scene. And I think it might be able to work anywhere, but I'm just going to keep it in this face tracker. And by default, the settings are quite garish, so I'm going to change the colors to start to be a little bit frostier. So you'll notice if I take the retouch we built in the last lesson and disable it, there's still a retouch going on. So let's dive in this makeup block and make a few edits to the actual block itself. And to do that, you have to not have it selected up here, but down in your asset manager, and then click edit. And inside of this block, one thing you'll notice is that the lips and teeth have a little extra line going on. So in the face texture, we want to enable the eyes and mouth. And see, if you look at the lips, you can see how that fixes that little issue there. And this makeup block also includes a retouch object and material. So in the material, I'm going to disable full screen and turn the skin smoothing down to 20%, just so it's not so soft. And those are all the changes I want to make to the actual block. So I'll save this and close it. And now refreshing the scene should propagate those changes. And now that this makeup block has a retouch built into it, we can delete this one we built earlier. Now in this makeup block, you'll notice I have the colors set to very bright whites and blues, but there's still a lot of darkness happening kind of all over the place. So if we go to the ambient light and try turning this up, you'll notice those dark colors turn to a little bit more like what I set. So just keep in mind that this makeup material isn't using flat materials, and so you need to make sure the lights are bright enough to make sure these values stay pretty close to what you set. And now that I have the lights brighter, I can turn down some of these colors. I think the lips are looking a little bit too bright, a little blown out there. And this is a bug that I've experienced several times. I don't really know how to fix it. But you can see this thing here is just fading up and down, even though I've already selected this color. And if I try to fix it, it just almost saves what I did over time. It's very strange. I'm going to have to save and exit and restart Spark to get that working again. Actually, it looks like just closing that out and saving might have fixed that. So maybe we looked out there. One thing I found to try to avoid that is only single clicking in here and not dragging it around. And that way it only sends a single value to this. Later in this chapter, we're going to add some more lightness and frostiness to the face. And so these bright elements will be more integrated once that happens. So for now, I'm just going to call this good. Feel free to keep tweaking all these values and set it how you want. Or you could even go into this makeup block and adjust some of the core functionality of it to make it suit your needs.